So welcome to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and um, today I thought I would uh, unpack um, the new uh, gripping. Well, a new army I received a couple of weeks ago now from Gripping Beast. Um, this is a Saxon four-point Saga warband plus additional levy troops, and I bought these during the Black Friday sales. And I've been looking for a new faction. I played quite a lot of the Viking types and the um, Irish and what have you in the in the Viking book, but I wanted something from the um, the other one, the Saxony type book, um, Arthur, Age of Arthur book. Um, it's a bit rash because I've got loads and loads of figures that are all based up, but they're all based up on for different systems. So it's nice to have um, sagas really useful in that you don't have to build huge armies, so you can relatively quickly build up another force. Um, and I thought, screw it, I'm going to do it. It was a third off. Um, and it seemed like a good deal. So I thought this morning I would unpack this for you. So this is the box that arrived. Nice box, nicely sealed. Um, all safe and sound. Um, I got it a couple of weeks ago now, but I just haven't got around to opening it. So uh, let's have a quick look, see what's inside, shall we? Let's say I, the deals they did over Black Friday were pretty good. Um, third off is, is, is actually not to be sneezed at. Um, so you know, well worth a well worth a look. And it's gone now, obviously. Oops, I'm going to start sparkling there. Um, and I've got loads of figures here sitting on my desk to to paint up. Got loads of bolt action figures as well. When I was uh, looking around the sales. So here we go. Let's have a look in here. Oh yeah, Grippy Beast. Thank you for your order. You're very welcome. I like to keep you in custom. It looks like the invoice, yeah, I'll put that over there. So, here we go. Looks like it's all packaged up in one. Let's get rid of the box. Atius Arthur book. That's the one I was trying to remember. Saxon Warbound, four points. Now I'm hoping the archers are in here too because uh, I did order some levy um, because they were reduced as well. So I thought, right, I'll get some of those at the same time. Um, and I quite like, I like, um, I like the sort of uh, barbarian-y type factions in in Saga. So I, I thought I'd give the, the war, um, Saxons a go. So let's have a look inside the box. Stick that over there. There we go. Nicely packaged up. Lots of um, bits and bops. Get rid of all the, all the puff wheat stuff. Oh yeah, I can see the archers, so that's good. So let's take these out down here. So we've got that looks like the war the warrior, the warlord, that's the archers. Some bases and there's all the weaponry for them. They look like the hearth guard. And these look like the warriors. Uh, is it, oops, doesn't tell me what the troop composition is. I can't remember when I bought it. Oh, here we go, on the back of the box here. So you get the Warlord. You get two units of Warriors, so 16 figures. And then you get two units of Hearthguard, eight figures. So that gives you your um, four-point Warband. So that's one, one Warlord. Two units of hearth guard and two units of uh, warriors. Twenty-five figures. Twenty-five figures. You know, for twenty quid, all metal. I didn't think that was too bad. And then, of course, I added in these additional archers, um, just to give me a unit of levy to, to have another option. So let's have a look at the different packs first of all. Let's start. I start with a war warlord, shall we? Interesting, Scandinavian Companion. So, it's 
an axe man clearly he looks like he will there's not too much flashing on there he looks like he will paint up very very well he's obviously encanting in, in odin yeah it's a nice enough figure not the most inspiring oh lord i have to say but hey it's not what they look like it's what they do on the table that matters right stick it in my way let's have a look at the hearth guard coming out Cut fingers working away over time. So we have here. Oh yeah, I've seen these. I've got some of these figures already. Um, it, when I used to do a lot of Warhammer, they're really nice figures. They paint up beautifully. They have these plumes, which I kind of like. I don't know whether it's accurate, but I really like them. Yeah. So he's uh, that's a spear. He's supposed to have a spear, I think, in there. This guy's thrusting with his sword. Let's get a bit closer to the camera. There you go. Nice figures. There's another guy. I think he could have a sword or a lance. Needs a bit of fleshing or flashing in the middle there to be cleared out the way. Guy running, charging, I guess. He's either thrusting with a spear or a axe or a sword. Overhanded, I mean. What else we got here? He looks like he's sort of thrusting with a spear. This guy's thrusting low with a spear, presumably. Is that the same figure as over here? Not quite. Another guy running. So there's a nice little group there. They all look completely different, which is good. Well, not completely different, but they're clearly from the same stable, but they uh, look pretty good. There's a bit of fleshing mold join really around the arm there which will need a bit of work clearing off but otherwise they're pretty clean pretty clean and i know as i say i've already got some of these figures um before saga was a thing and they actually paint up really really nicely let's pop them away so that's uh, the eight of those which is nice Them away. Let's have another look at that warlord. I'm not sure whether I, I got it as, as well as I should have done on the screen. He's all right. I say I don't think he's necessarily the most heroic, but you know if he's calling Odin to to give me decent dice, then fantastic. And we've got the warriors. Oops. Again, nice mixture of oops, nice mixture of poses. They've got some sort of almost like leather caress leather sort of waistcoaty type effects on, I think. Uh, what's he supposed to be carrying? That's interesting. That's like a, a knife welded in there already. Intriguing. So, again, they're obviously the same stable. You can see they belong together as a unit, but there's enough variation in the figures to make them interesting. See, those guys are relatively similar, but you can see the heads are different, which is nice. See that? Bring that up closer. So clearly the same basic mould, but the heads are different and the tunics are different. So that, that's kind of nice. He's got a ponytail. This guy's got regular long hair. This guy's got not got any helmet at all, but 
nice. I think, they, I think these are lovely figures. They they paint. I say I've, I've got some of the earlier versions they did of these. When I was doing Warhammer Ancient Battles, and they painted up really nicely, really nicely. They do seem to pretty much everyone is different, which is also really key. If you've only got sort of sixteen figures in a unit, you want to make sure every figure is different, right? Otherwise, it's all a bit. Oh, he's got a furry waistcoat on that guy. I like him. He's nice. I'm not sure about this guy with the knife. It's a bit weird. It's like some sort of uh, Dungeons and Dragons thief, you know. But again, nicely sculpted. It's got. You can see the bindings on his leg well. Even with my not great standard of painting, these paint up really nicely. And there's not too many mould lines. In fact, these look better for mould lines than the Hearthguard did. So, yeah. Nice. Let's stick them back there. And what do I do with the arches? There's the arches. Oh, well, actually, before I open the arches, let's have a look at the... So here's you've got your bases. There's... Uh, Loads of spears, swords, little shields, no axes I can see, just mainly shit swords. There axes there, is that a strip of axes? Yeah, actually there is a strip of axes there as well, so you've got some axes in there as well if you want to. So again, you can alternate axes and swords and spears, because um, they all work out roughly the same. Um, and so that was what I, so basically those packs, what you got as the four point army, and then I added in an extra point um, to get these archers for the levy. And these look good. Again, a bit of mould marks will need cleaning off. But they're nice. So 16 of them. So 16 of them, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 men, okay, 12 men in a... <clears throat> I don't play Saga enough to to remember instantly how big the units are. It's 12s, 8s and 4s, isn't it? That's right. So again, these will paint up pretty well, I think. Even for my distinctly average style of painting. These are a bit these look like they need a little bit more TLC. The mold lines are a bit more noticeable on the arches. So, anyway, there you go. So that is Gripping Beasts Saga uh, Four Point Saxon Warband for the Atius Arthur book. I think I would have preferred that Warlord. <clears throat> now that's interesting. Includes Warlord model as pictured. Well, it doesn't. It does not. I've got this thing. I got this one. Um, I quite like him, but I think I prefer that one. So I think I'm going to have to contact Warlords because it does distinctly say includes Warlord model as depicted. And even here it says, note, Warlord as depicted, other figures may vary. Well, I haven't got the Warlord as depicted. So I would call him a gripping beast, which is a bit disappointing. But I know from past experience they're pretty good at sorting out orders. So there you go. That is my quick unpack of the Saga Saxon Warband 4 point uh, of, that I bought. Um, I'll buy it. Unless he's in that warrior pack. No, he's not in the warrior pack, is he? No, he's definitely not there. So uh, anyway, yeah, that was what I bought um, in the Black Friday sale from Gripping Beast. Um, I've got a lot. I'm working through my bolt and bolt action armies at the moment, so um, they're priority in terms of painting. But when I get around to painting these, I will try and do a little video and show you how they came painted up. 
Okay, so a quick update. Um, so I contacted Gripping Beast because I thought it was a bit odd that the character wasn't correct in that box. And sure enough, um, it was a mistake. They'd failed to pack it. Um, so one of those user error things, which is, you know, happens from time to time. But how you deal with it is the way that uh, you're judged. So kudos to um, Andy, a Gripping Beast. Um, I emailed him immediately um, and said I didn't get my character, I didn't get my warlord that I'm supposed to get. Um, has something gone wrong? And I showed him the, the one I did get, and he said, "Oh, that one's supposed to be your bonus figure <laughs> for that month. Um, the warrior should have been in there. It's a mistake." So, literally in two days, um, I received a nice package with this rather nice warrior. So this will be my warlord for my Saxon warband. Nice figure, holding the uh, head of a dead enemy warrior. It does have an? I do get. Yeah, I'm not great modelling, so the fact it's got a separate arm is slightly annoying. But there you go. Be a choice of um, axe or sword. And also, again, kudos to Andy. He said, "Oh, have you got the base?" <laughs> I said no, <laughs> so that didn't come either. So he put that in the pack too. So um, yeah, mistakes happen, but how you deal with them is the important thing. But this does look like, excuse my big fat fingers and hand, does look like a really nice model. I'm looking forward to even my limited paint skills working on that one. Very good indeed. Anyway, thought it, it deserves an update. The figure is in there. It's a nice figure. There it is. Um, it was just left out by accident, but they sent it to me in really record time, considering it's also around Christmas time. I'm very impressed with that. So thanks very much to Andy. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try and do some more um, updates um, through my tabletop hobby as we go forward. Uh, I've got a painting guide um, a cheaters painting guide because anybody who will know me knows that I love to cheat at things. And find easy routes so there's a painting guide coming um plus um at some point i'll get around to painting up these little figures and um show you what they look like when they're in my display so anyway hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and i will see you again soon this is gamer dom signing out